Hi everybody and welcome back to the Cook's Companion Kitchen. I'm Nadine Hughes and I'm here with your recipe of the week. And this week we're going to use a really simple freezer ingredient that I'm sure you all have in your freezer. And if you don't, you can go out for about $2.49 and get yourself a bag of frozen peas. So sometimes we take a look at these frozen vegetables and we struggle as to what to do with them. And as they are nutritious as fresh vegetables, well, yes, yes, and yes. So frozen vegetables are still packed with the same amount of vitamins and minerals that you get in fresh and sometimes even fresher depending upon where you do buy your um, buy your groceries so I always have a bag of frozen peas in my freezers because you can do a lot of things with them I can add them to pastas I can add them to soup um, I can put them into stir fries lots of different things and they go straight from my freezer into whatever it is I'm cooking because they quick are cooked so quickly but today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a sweet pea puree with hints of lime and coriander and green onion that you can use as a a great side dish you can use it as a topping for soups and stews or you can use it as a spread for an appetizer okay really simple and easy and quick to do so what I'm gonna do is all you need to do is basically follow the instructions on the bag of your frozen peas so I'm using a sweet summer um, pea uh, you can use a regular baby pea whatever you've got but you want about maybe two two and a half cups of frozen peas okay straight from the freezer and about half a cup to a cup of water bringing it to a boil and this is so fast you almost want to get everything ready together and I'm gonna let the peas sort of boil away for about a minute to two minutes okay they cook really quickly and I still want to keep that bright um, green uh, vibrant color to them as well okay what I am then gonna do is I'm gonna add them after they're cooked into the blender and I'm gonna puree them with a bunch of different flavors now today as I said I'm using lime and I'm using coriander because I really like that combination and it's really bright and flavorful but you could use um, mint you could use green onions you could just use regular onion if you want it for that little bit of kick you could use uh, lemons as well any type of flavoring that you want to put together so you want to give your peas a little bit of a, a stir as I say it doesn't take long for them to cook you really almost are defrosting them basically um, and what's nice about this is talking about defrosting is after I've made this puree I can then put them either into ice cube trays and put them into my freezer and then just pop out individual ones and use them as a nice topping on top of a soup okay or even just on top of a mashed potato a little bit of brightness some color some ever you know extra flavor as well so really versatile or I can freeze a whole batch of them and put them uh, back into the freezer so done super easy okay so what I want to do is after my peas have done um, I'm gonna be adding them in here but right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of butter okay one to two tablespoons of unsalted butter I'm going to add the juice of well maybe half a lime depends on how much juice I get from this lime and on average you get about oh a tablespoon and a half to two tablespoons of juice from half a lime unless it's really really juicy and then you know some of them I had one yesterday that my god I could have made a great margarita with it quite frankly <laughs> should have done that it was just too early in the morning so I'm gonna add the whole juice of a, of a lime in here because I just love the brightness and the flavor of lime my peas have been in for a couple of minutes I'm gonna turn off the heat and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the peas with some of the liquid I don't have to drain it because I actually want some of the liquid in here or else it'll be a little bit too thick so I'm going to take the peas drain a little bit of the liquid off in my spatula and add them in here I'm going to reserve the liquid because I may need to add a little bit more as I go through put that over way so it's not in your way I'm going to add about oh I don't know a good couple of tablespoons of coriander or cilantro some kosher or sea salt good pinch Again, you're going to want to season this and then taste it because sometimes peas are sweeter than others. Um, and again, depending on if you're using salted or unsalted butter, I would suggest using unsalted butter and then you can control it a little bit more. All right, we're going to roll that up. We're going to hear some great noise in a second. Hold on. Okay, so as you see, it starts to get a little bit thick. Now, here comes your personal preference. You may want this to be a little bit thicker with a little bit bite of the peas, or you may want to get it smoother as well. If you're doing it for kids, you might want to omit the salt, um, go a little bit less on the butter, um, and, you know, this is a great puree for, uh, for kids. But I'm going to have it go a little bit more. I'm going to give it a taste. 
yum. Okay, sweet as all, because as I said, they're all using summer sweet peas. I'm gonna add a little bit more pepper, and I'm gonna give it a good whirl. All right, I am going to pour this out into the bowl for you. Now, this will actually become a little bit more uh, thick as it sits, okay? And you can control the thickness or the thinness of this um, by adding more peas, less peas, more water, less water, obviously, okay? But this is, look at the color. It's vibrant, it's bright, it's colorful. And uh, quite frankly, I could just eat this as it is. Um, I'm gonna let it sit for a little bit. I'm actually gonna put it in the fridge, cover it up, put it in the fridge, and then I'm actually gonna put it on a piece of toasted baguette, which is a great appetizer. Um, as I said, I could also freeze these in the ice cube trays and then pop one or two out and put them on top of a homemade soup it's that really nice sort of topping that adds you know a different flavor to perhaps you know a beautiful vichy soie in the, in the uh, summertime or even um, you know a great sort of stew in the winter time as well and it's also if i make it a little bit thicker it's a great side dish with a piece of grilled fish on top or grilled chicken beautiful as well so it's bright it's flavorful it's a sweet pea puree you've got all the ingredients i'm sure already in your house and you know what you're going to enjoy it it's fast it's quick it's easy and it's delicious all right so sweet pea puree now if you're getting this recipe through my recipe of the week don't forget that you can click on the recipe title and get the recipe printed out as well some people have been asking about that and if you're not a member of my recipe of the week make sure you go to my website which is thecookscompanion.ca sign up for it and then you'll get the complete uh, recipes every week including the, the uh, links to the video okay so thanks for watching and have yourself a wonderful wonderful day <music>